progress with you every day. Hi, everyone. I am Celine. In this video, we are going to learn KSSM PT3 Form 1 Science. The Chapter 6 Periodic Table. Before we start the learning, let's overview the chapter's content. This is the content of the chapter. This chapter consists of three topics. The first topic is classification of elements. In the first topic, we will learn about the essential particle that make up of the matter. There are three types of particles, they are atom, molecule, and ion. The substances which make the matter can be classified into two types. The first type is element. And, the second is, compound. After the first topic, you should be clearer about, the differences. Between, element, and compound. In the first topic, you will be introduced with, the periodic table. At which, we will discuss how are the elements arranged in the periodic table. In general, the elements in the periodic table, are grouped into three groups. They are metals, at the left side of the periodic table. Nonmetals, at the right side of the periodic table. And, semimetals, or metalloids, arranged in between metals and nonmetals. In the periodic table, this three types of element, its properties, will be discussed, and compared. The second topic is, mixture. At which, a definition will be given to the mixture. And, there are three types of mixture. Element-element mixture. Compound-compound mixture. And, element-compound mixture. We will discuss the differences between them. In the second topic. We will also learn the methods, that use to separate the mixture. There are six methods of mixture separation. The first method is, the filtration process. The second method is, the distillation process. The third method is, the separation using magnet. The fourth method is, the sedimentation process. The fifth method is, the flotation method. The sixth method is, the chromatography method. The third topic is, compound. Compound is formed, when two or more different kind of elements, combined chemically. In topic three, we will discuss the formation of compounds from metals and nonmetals, at which it compliance the principle of mass conservation. Principle of mass conservation will be detailed in the topic three. In the topic three, we will also discuss the method that used to separate the elements from a compound. It is the electrolysis process. We will discuss the differences between the physical change and chemical change of matter. And, at the last but not least, we will do the comparison between the mixtures and the compounds to come out their differences. This is the short briefing about the content of Chapter 6. Now, let's proceed to the main topic of the chapter.